If you've been tearing through Lies of P like us, chances are you've defeated your fair share of bosses by now and looted the strange, rare Ergo items from them. Like pretty much every Souls like you've ever played, there's a distinct choice you'll have to make when it comes to these powerful boons. But the main question is, should you sell or save rare Ergo when you pick them up? We'll talk you through the options, no strings attached. As with many Souls likes, like Lies of P, you'll accumulate various items you can sell to acquire the equivalent of levels to spend on upgrading yourself or purchasing consumables and weapons and things like that. In Lies of P, Rare Ergo is one of the most significant rewards you can receive from beating a major boss. If you've already taken on the Parade Master, for example, you'll have picked up the Parade Master's Ergo after defeating it. And this is a valuable item. You only get it from major boss battles, which means they're very limited. And ultimately, how you use them comes down to what you want more short-term gain or long-term reward. While strictly speaking, you can sell or use your rare Ergo immediately for a short-term gain in the form of thousands of Ergo to spend on upgrades for your Pinocchio, in the long run, you may be better off saving it. 5,000 Ergo from the Parade Master is nothing to be sniffed at that early in the game and could give you a very tasty boost if you spend it on your levels. But if you save rare Ergo, you can use it to get incredibly powerful and rare weapons and amulets from Alidora. There are some mild spoilers here for a bit later in Lies of Peace, so if that's a concern, now would be a good time to click away while you can. Alidora is a dog-faced treasure hunter who can take the rare Ergo you collect from significant boss encounters and use it to create rare weapons and items that cannot be obtained any other way in the game. Like the remembrances you could claim from big bosses in Elden Ring, you only get one chance to grab these items. Once you've spent the rare Ergo, it's gone, so if you took the money and ran, you won't be able to access these powerful relics. When you first meet Alidora in the St. Frangelico Cathedral Library, he'll be seeking out a safe haven. And while you could lie and send him to Venigny Works, your best bet is to send him to Hotel Crap, where he will remain on hand to help you out in the future. Once you've sent him there, you'll be able to use your rare Ergo for an assortment of rare weapons and amulets, assuming you haven't used them up already, of course. For example, let's say you keep hold of the Parade Master's Ergo. In return for it, Alidora will give you the option to claim the Dancing One's amulet, which enables dodging even if you have low stamina, excellent in any number of high stakes fights in Lies of P, or perhaps you'd prefer the Seven Coil Spring Sword. Coming in at a very solid 129 physical attack, its scaling is Motivity B and Technique C, so you do kinda need to be focusing on those as well, but the skills are well worth it. Its first skill, Seven Explosions, is a strong downward blur that sends multiple explosions outward to deal damage to enemies, and its second skill, Guard Parry, lets you trigger a powerful counter-attack if you perfectly time an enemy's attack and deflect it. Or if you took on the Scrapped Watchman and saved his Ergo, then you could pick up one of the Extreme Modification Amulet or Etika. The Extreme Modification Amulet increases your weapon's attack in proportion to the number of Fable slots, while the Etika weapon comes in at a slightly less hard-hitting 80 physical attack, but more forgiving scaling. Its skill 1, Single Stab, gathers your strength for a forward pacing attack, and its skill 2, Absolute Counter-Attack, means if you perfectly block an enemy's attack temporarily, after a successful guard, you can use Fable Arts to trigger an extra attack. What we're saying is, if you have a certain build that you're going for, it might be worth seeing what each boss's rare Ergo can offer you before you fritter it away on a quick payday. Ergo can always be farmed, but you only get one shot to get your hands on these unique weapons and amulets. So now you know. Thanks for watching with us at GG Recon. I've been Elliot, and if you want to see more of our guides, check out these videos here.